Mitch. I thank the chairman for yielding. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise today to voice my strong support for H.R. 6079 to repeal the uh, Patient Protection and, uh, and Affordable Care Act. Whether it's drop coverage, higher costs, or lost, jo or lost jobs, the unintended consequences of this legislation continue to add up. And now that the Supreme Court has declared the individual mandate to be a tax, we know that this law contains over 20 distinct tax increases. We cannot continue to ignore the impact of this law on jobs while millions of Americans remain out of work. Nor should we cut $500 billion from Medicare or leave in place new rules that the CBO estimates will eliminate employer-sponsored insurance for millions of Americans. Instead of tinkering with broken pieces, we should take the cleaner route, repeal the law, and end policies that are raising costs. In their, pace, we can, in their place, we can enact consensus-driven, bipartisan solutions that Democrat leaders have ignored in the past. At the same time, there's no reason we can't maintain coverage for pre-existing conditions and young adults. Let's give the Americans what they want, lower costs, access to quality care, and more choice. We can do that through the associated health plans for small businesses by allowing consumers to buy insurance across state lines and by expending health sa extending uh, health savings accounts. And we must move forward on common sense legislation to curb junk lawsuits that drive up costs and force doctors to practice expensive defensive medicine. Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleagues to join me in repealing this regrettable law. Then we can put our focus back on effective reforms that will deliver lower costs without putting the government between patients and their doctors. And I yield back.